what poaching does to the environment. A practice called poaching is when people illegally hunt or capture wildlife. A lot of poached animals end up being killed in the process of being caught and killed. Today, poaching is one of the main threats to wildlife. Thanks for joining Dynamic Earth Learning. Our content covers interesting earth science, conservation, and sustainability topics. Visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and e-learning courses. Why poaching is a problem. Poaching has an effect on everything in the environment. People and animals are at risk because it affects the wildlife population and can also hurt their health. Effects of poaching on human health. People who eat meat that has been poached can get sick and die. Up to 75% of new diseases come from animals. This type of disease can be spread between animals and humans, which is called zoonotic. These diseases can only spread if a person is exposed to pathogens, which is why they are so dangerous. A pathogen is any living thing that can make you sick. Most zoonotic diseases are caused by viruses, but some are caused by bacteria. Ebola, monkeypox, bird flu, coronaviruses, and more are all examples of zoonotic diseases. Effects of poaching on the environment. Poaching can have an impact on the natural world, both directly and indirectly. Many times, people don't notice how poaching affects the environment until it is already too late. 1. Loss of biodiversity. People talk about biodiversity when they talk about the different types of organisms that live in a certain place. The illegal hunting of wildlife can cut down on the number of some animal species. The lives of all animals in an area can be affected by poaching because they all depend on each other in different ways. There are a lot of big animals and birds that live on the ground and in the sky that have been affected. This has had a big effect on their population. Poaching also means taking animals and moving them to a new place. As soon as poached animals move to a new place, they can become invasive species. Invasive species can change the biodiversity in a habitat in a bad way. For example, when predators move into an area, they can cut down on the number of prey animals there. 2. Disruption in the food chain Food chains are used in ecology to show how organisms get their energy from each other. Food chains are made up of people who make and buy food. A producer is any living thing that can make its own food, like a plant or animal. There is a process called photosynthesis that plants use to make their own food. It's called a food chain when animals that eat producers and other animals in the food chain also eat each other. Poaching can change the food chain by killing off the animals that eat them. This can change how organisms move energy around. In every corner of the world, people are hunting for animals that eat plants as well as animals that eat animals that eat other animals. 3. Extinction of species Poaching is one of the main factors that lead to species extinction. Members of a species are said to be extinct when they are gone from the world. It can be bad for the environment when species die out. The reason for this is that each animal has a unique job to do in order to keep a balance in their habitats. Most animal species are now in danger because of poaching in different parts of the world. It is very likely that an animal or plant will become extinct if it doesn't get the help it needs. In the long run, the extinction of certain animal species can have an effect on how the ecosystem works. This can make the environment change in ways that you don't expect. How poaching affects the ecosystem. An ecosystem is made up of plant and animal communities, as well as their physical surroundings. At different levels, organisms in an ecosystem interact with each other. An ecosystem can only be healthy when there is a lot of different kinds of things in it. It can be bad for ecosystems when animals are killed, which can make them less healthy. Some ecosystems in different parts of the world have been wiped out because people are poaching. When keystone species are over-harvested, this can happen, too. 
keystone species are organisms that help shape an ecosystem, like trees. Without them, the ecosystem won't be able to work properly because of underlying imbalances. For example, if all predators in an ecosystem are killed, prey animals may eat too much vegetation cover to hide from predator. Poaching and illegal wildlife trade Illegal wildlife trade is one of the main factors that lead to poaching in most places. Hunting for animal parts, meat, and other things takes place. The poached animals are often sold on the black market. When people illegally buy and sell things on the black market, they add to the destruction of global ecosystems. Elephants are killed for their ivory. To make things like utensils, jewelry, and figurines, People use ivory that has been illegally taken from the animal. Rhino horns are worth a lot because most cultures believe they can be used to treat illnesses. There are also gorillas that are hunted for the same reason, too. How many animals die from poaching? There are a lot of animals that are killed by poachers every year. Poaching is still common on most parts of the world. In Africa and Asia, a lot of animals are killed for their meat and other parts. One poaching in Asia. The poaching crisis in Asia is at a critical point. There are many countries in the world where people hunt, kill, and sell wild animals. In parts of Southeast Asia, a lot of animal species have died out over the last few years. As a result, there has been a big change in the biodiversity in these areas. People in Asia often kill pangolins, musk deer, and sun bears. Thousands of other animal species in Asian countries are also hurt by poaching. 2. Poaching in Africa Many African countries have a lot of illegal poaching. More than 35,000 elephants are killed in Africa every year, and this is a lot. Because elephants are killed for their ivory, poaching is the main reason why they do it. There are a lot of poaching crimes in Kenya, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. There have been the most poaching incidents in Zimbabwe, which is in Africa. Poaching in Africa has had a huge impact on the wildlife population, just like in Asia. A lot of animal species are close to extinction, so this is why. There are a lot of West African countries where gorillas are killed for their poaching. Poaching rhinos in Africa poaching puts African rhinos at risk. These animals are mostly hunted because of their horns. South Africa has the largest number of rhinos in the world. Rhinos are now classified as critically endangered. Less than 27,000 rhinos remain in the wild because they are being killed for their poaching. Advanced hunting techniques are used by poachers to find and kill rhinos. This lets them kill a lot of animals which hurts the rhino population. How can poaching be prevented? Poaching is a problem all over the world that needs to be stopped. People who work for groups like the International Anti-Poaching Foundation are trying to make people aware of the negative effects of poaching. In addition, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species has rules that help stop poaching. Wildlife conservation groups use GPS tracking to find animals. This allows them to protect species that are at risk. Thanks for joining us. Consider following Dynamic Earth Learning for more earth science, conservation, and sustainability topics. And visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and environmental e-learning courses.